Kick-ass facts. If you have a thatched cottage, that was popular slang for vagine in 1835. Stick around. We're talking about the 10 types of female. Oh, pew, 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 pew. there's also a giveaway. Wait until the end. The G-spot orgasm. Though research is a bit inconclusive, the consensus about the G-spot is that it's located in the front wall of your petticoat lane, popular phrase in 1790, about halfway between your quim whiskers, late 1800s, and your cervix. Some researchers argue it's a sex organ, while others believe it's part of the clitoris's network of nerve endings. Some people report a G-spot orgasm feels deeply intense compared to other types. The old-fashioned vaginal orgasm happens from penetrating your bell shows, 1386, that doesn't intentionally stimulate the clitoris and G-spot. Besides the man in the boat, Mrs. Fubb's parlor, 1823, has additional erogenous zones. The A-spot, or anterior fornix, is located on the high front or anterior wall just beneath the cervix. This area can trigger a deep orgasm when touched the right way. Some people may orgasm from touching the cervix itself, entering the lady's low toupee, 1721, while an all fours can help with that. The backdoor orgasm, bum play or sex, indirectly stimulates nearby erogenous regions. This is because the backyard and the front yard are connected by a thin stretch of tissue called the perineum. Both locations are connected to the pelvic floor and those muscles are highly sensitive. Nipple orgasm. There is no clear consensus on how common a nipple play orgasm is. Researchers aren't exactly sure why they exist. However, research has found that nipple stimulation activates the part of your brain that controls genital stimulation. A blended orgasm happens when more than one erogenous zone is stimulated at the same time. Multiple. Unlike people with a silent flute, 1720, people with an altar of Venus, 1584, can experience multiple orgasms because they don't require as much downtime between orgasm and arousal. Squirting. Some people can release a gush of clear fluid. Researchers estimate anywhere between 10 to 54% of women have at one time or another experienced this. Exercise orgasm or corgasm. A study from Indiana University found that 370 of 530 women surveyed had experienced orgasm or pleasure while working out, usually from core-based exercises. <laughs> I gotta get back in the gym. Sleep or nocturnal orgasms likely start with an erotic dream, which, FYI, you're more likely to have if you sleep on your stomach. This can lead to increased blood flow to nature's treasury, 1635, and lubrication, making your body orgasm while you sleep. There is a study from the 1950s that reported 37% of female participants had a sleep orgasm by the time they were four. Last but certainly not least, the small and mighty clitoral orgasm. The chickpea looks like small erect tissue on the exterior of the vulva, but it also extends internally into your aphrodisiacal tennis court, 1665. It is made up of millions of nerve endings, which make it particularly sensitive to stimulation. Don't listen to this guy. Ring that devil's doorbell. And if you need help doing so, head over to Balesa, where everyone registering using the link in my bio will get a free toy or a discount code.